Hi guys, welcome back in the Swings Journey here at Barra Golf Club. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is a little short video. It's just a quick tip on how to improve your ball strike with your irons. This time of the year when it's wet outside, obviously the ground gets very, uh, very soggy, very sort of muddy, some sloppy sort of lies out there. So it's really crucial to, to, that we make the contact with the golf ball before we enter the ground or interact with the ground with the golf club. So try and eliminate these sort of fat, heavy shots that um, aren't very sort of successful in trying to hit in a certain distance. Okay, so the first thing we really want to look at is your ball position. Okay, a lot of people do generally place ball position too far forward in stance. Um, the other sort of thing that maybe we want to look at a little bit as well is how we shift our body weight through the shot. We might be sort of wanting to hang back on the golf shot. And again, that is something that I find a lot of golfers generally do. So look at a sort of ball position first. We want to maybe just start to move the ball a little bit further back than maybe what you already do. So if you do suffer with catching the ground before the golf ball, then maybe look at your ball position. Try and move it a little bit further back in the stance, more towards the middle of the stance, especially this time of the year to try and help some, some better contacts on the golf ball. So by moving the ball a little bit more in the back of the stance, you're still going to want to shift your weight going forward. But that just allows you to bottom the club out at a slightly different point. And hopefully, as I say, we're going to catch that golf ball before the, the, uh, the turf. As mentioned, the other aspect we need to maybe look at is the way you shift your body weight through your golf shot. Okay? As mentioned before, a lot, of, a lot of pupils I see do want to sort of get from the top of the backswing here. They do want to stay on this back leg as they transition into the golf ball. So they want to stay back here and we do a lot of swiveling on, on this back leg and that obviously affects the path the club takes because we want to swing it left but also where the club actually bottoms out at the bottom of the golf swing. Uh, generally this does promote the sort of heavy shots. If there's no real contact on the ground we actually miss the ground and the club's on its way up into the golf ball which then produces obviously more very clean strikes, low in the face strikes, also sort of thins and maybe possible top shots as well. So let's have a look at the way we shift our body weight. So we've checked that ball position out, we've got that in a better position. As we get to the top of the backswing now, we want to feel like we're just sort of bumping ourselves forward with these hips. So as we start the, the transition on the way down, we're just going to bump forward and we're going to make sure we're getting our weight driving into this foot. So you're going to feel the pressure of your weight driving down into the ground, into this left foot. And that's going to allow you to shift your weight forward. And again, that moves the, the way the club bottoms out um, at the bottom of your golf swing to again, try and make sure we get this golf ball contact before we actually get the turf. Okay guys, um, do try those two tips, hopefully these will work. So if you do suffer from the heavy shots, look at your ball position, maybe analyse why you're shifting your weight and just look in the follow through, you know, are, are you finishing in this forward position or are we hanging back here? Have a little look, give it a go, let me know how you get on. If you want to see more videos like this, I'm going to try and put some more tips and um, swing help on the, on the YouTube channel. So if you do want to see some more, please subscribe and hopefully we'll see you all soon.